Hello, my name is Malikar, nice to meet you and welcome back to Trafkov still after we fight a wire about you, so whatever his name and his dead, this was important. Two things before we start. Three things, three, 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 I don't know how to count. First, this is sexy. That's why I put the story of Ghost still disappear on like this is perfect. A picture, somebody, a painting, look a crow. Caliente, everybody, caliente. Yeah, that, that's one. Two, sorry if you guys hear like dogs in the background. They are not my dogs. It's a dog I don't know where, like in like in the neighborhood but i don't know where and it's been like i'm not exaggerating like two hours that he's like oh, oh. i'm like what's wrong with you <laughs> yeah and the third thing i finished turf sky second chapter i finished chapter six in which you know there are somebody cry mm -hmm. and Hoshi no Arika I don't know if I say it right but that came in the background and that person crying oh my god so let's start I, I, I'm like I'm like I'm like I'm like I'm like ah uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my concert enough? I already killed blah 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 Erebonius. Low Erebonius and now Green wants to do stuff. Give people food. Not people, George. What do he want? Let me see. Old school house. Oh okay, wait, wait, wait. Nobody gonna walk. We're going there already. Wait, do I need to bring him? F I, I don't care. <laughs> I want my concert. Come the thing is in George on the seventh floor. I have still got a while before at least arrive. Maybe I should take him something to eat. Okay, I'm gonna give him something to eat. I don't want to be a bit a bit person, a bad person. I'm gonna give him something to eat. Before we go there, who who sells food? Uh, what you sell? You sell what? What is, is that? I don't know how you say that. Fresh juice. I don't think he wants juice. What you sell? The hell? Balloon? I don't want balloon. You sell empire empire meatball. You sell he gelato. Oh. Now, now I'm being like so picky. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bring you these guys that looks like taco. Shop buy. Ah, I like crepes. Banana crepe, chocolate crepe. Yeah, no, it's too expensive. Banana. Yeah, there we go. Is that is that the food? That's it. I don't know what he wants to. Be. Shop. Do you sell tacos? Look, he got... Okay, I got him this. I don't know if this is the way to give him food, but this will be his food. Yeah, this will be his food. That's it. Let's go. Enough, enough, enough. <laughs> Not really. Enough. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, I forgot to actually... I buy it. I already buy it. Rain, what the hell? Okay. You scare me. Oh, crow. Hey there, guys. Oh, what's up, Rain? I see curiosity got the better of you too, eh? <laughs> He's not even looking. <laughs> no helping that, I guess. I wondered if maybe you'd found out anything about it. Oh, I brought you a little something to eat, too. Hey, yeah. Oh, thanks. Hey, no problem. I use a little sugary pick-me-up to get my brain back on track. You see? Good choice. I like sugar thing. I like pecan pie. You guys know that. What? Oh, this is one tasty looking apple pie. Uh, no, it's banana. Oh, thanks. I'm feeling all fired up now. The hell, it's banana crepe. It's not even a pie. What the hell, George? 
You seem pretty taken with this thing, huh? Can't say I blame you, though. Yeah, it's really amazing. Whatever it is. So, what do we know so far? I'm glad you asked. The deeper I look into it, the more fascinating it seems. It's not just a statue or anything like that. You can see those joints. This thing's clearly capable of movement. And on top of that, it's made of, well, something I can hardly even begin to describe. Some unknown metal, then. It's definitely not iron. And it's not one of those recently discovered special alloys, either. Hmm. It's some kind of fiendishly strong material that has properties of both metals and ceramics. If you knew how to manufacture it, you'd rake in so much money it'd make your head spin. Wow. You think there's a possibility that it might be an ancient artifact? You mean like something from the era before the Septian calendar? <clears throat> I can't rule out the possibility, but in this case, my gut's telling me no. Oh, okay. Artifacts are like black boxes. Not only do we not know what they're made from, we don't even know how they were made. This thing at least shows signs it was put together by some exceptionally skilled craftsmen and engineers. <laughs> Well, the the Ouroboros, I, I yet don't know how to pronounce their name, I wish I, I'm saying that right. It's, wait, spoilers alert if you haven't played Earth Sky Second Chapter. Okay, spoilers coming. <laughs> In their ship they were building, like, this kind of type of machines. You see it most clearly in the ornamental detailing and the joints. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Still, that basically sums up everything I do know. I've got no idea when it was made or who could even have built it. Me I if we could at least figure out something about whoever piloted it, but no such luck there. My eyes itching. Piloted? Oh. You're telling me someone's actually supposed to crawl inside this thing? Well, the measurements I've taken seem to indicate a hollow area in the chest. And it's just the right size to accommodate a single person. If I could just find some way to get it open. Man, it's hard to imagine that some crazy person used to strap themselves inside this thing and run around. Jellica would be happier than a pig in a mud hole if she could see this. Aww. <laughs> no doubt about that. It's not looking like she'll be able to make it to the festival, though. It's sad things ended up the way they did. Hey, hey, don't you guys go getting all weepy on me now. It's still morning. I'll bet she'll just turn up out of nowhere this afternoon like nothing even happened. And then she'll waltz right into the after party and round up all the hottest babes for herself. <sighs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> still sore, are we? It feels like so long ago now. To think that was just last year. You're right, though. It's hard to imagine her just staying put when she knows there's a party going on. I mean, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much, but this is Angie we're talking about. Please. <laughs> you got that right. But hey, the festival's in full swing. We should be seeing the sights, not poking around down here. What do you say the three of us cruise the campus and see if we can score some honeys? I want the freaking concert. <laughs> no can do. My sister should be showing up soon, and I promised I'd show her around. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. All right, have fun. I think I'll pass on the honey hunting, but I guess it's a good time to pack it in for today. I don't want to miss your concert later. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've been practicing all this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I hope we don't disappoint. No, oh, you guys won't. I don't know, but I know you won't. Can I see from near? Okay, that's it. Let's go. Oh, if I go out from here, where do I go? Oh, okay. Almost AM, which means I should be here in any minute. Maybe be good to make my way over the front gate. Okay, everybody gonna go from... to... to let... there is. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Don't touch me, I want the concert. <laughs> oh, Elise, hey. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, Rin. Is something the matter? You look.
look awfully tired. Did something happen? Well, Gar, there's a story. <laughs> you can tell, huh? I was running all over yesterday. Mainly rehearsals for our concert today and some other tests last night. Tests? During the festival? Mm hmm. My, they certainly don't go easy on you here. Maybe you should go get some rest. You have your concert coming up this afternoon, after all. All right. I can look around on my own just fine. Okay, no. Well, honestly, if you're not feeling well, I'd rather take care of you. Oh. It's nothing to worry yourself over, really. Oh. <laughs> nah, I got enough sleep last night to keep me going strong today. If I tried to rest now, it might actually sap my energy. Besides, you came all the way out from Heimdall to visit. I'd rather spend the day with you instead. I can only hang out till noon, though. After that, we've got our final prep for the concert. Green. Hmm. <laughs> well, if you insist. If you want to keep me company that much, I'd be happy to oblige. <laughs> what should we see first, then? Oh. Hmm. Oh, maybe we can start with Class 2's indoor garden. How's that sound? Oh, la la. That's just for Alisa. <laughs> Not for your sister. The academy together, and I showed her all of the different attractions I Excellent saw. narration. Let's go to the concert. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's the narration. <laughs> we know this place. Oh, <laughs> Alisa! Oh my god! <laughs> I can. Talking about Alisa. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't go got to see this one. I don't know if I can see this one, but. Ah, uh, this one, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, his brother. It's like moment of happiness. A grand tour of the festival. We stopped by all the big class attractions, bumped into a lot of my classmates and their families, and even ran into instructor Sarah in a couple second years. By the time we'd finished seeing everything and chatting with everyone, the morning was nearly over. Dun, 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 dun. Concert! <laughs> really? Give me my concert! I'm sorry. <laughs> what the concert? <laughs> I've been dying to see that. They better sing. If they don't sing and it just letters, I'm gonna sue. Schwarzer? Hey. Patrick, I suppose. He's the only Patrick? one that called me that way. Oh, looks like Celestine's out enjoying the festivities too. I believe you are a son of the High Arms family. Lady Elise. Oh. Simply splendid today. Caliente. I was hoping you might be able to make it. How utterly heartless of you to not tell me she'd be visiting. <laughs> Is that any way to treat your bosom buddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Patrick got a crush. Sorry. Uh, wait, when did we become dear friends? Oh, come on, Rain. A good day to you, Master Rain. And you must be his younger sister, who I've heard so much about. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer. It's good to see you well, Lord Patrick. Please, please, there's no need for such formalities <laughs> between us. Just call me Patrick. Oh my god, he got a crush. Ah, I know. Why don't we take this opportunity to stroll the campus together? Huh? Rain. Schwarzer, what are you doing? <laughs> he's not, he's Schwarzer. <laughs> what problem could you possibly have with my taking this chance to foster good relations between our families? See, that's all well and good, but Elise hasn't made her debut into high society quite yet. Which means it's her brother's duty to shoo away the unwanted pests. Oh, Rain. Rain? 
Must you always be such a tyrant when it comes to your sister? <laughs> Come along, Master Patrick. It would be unseemly to disrupt such a beautiful display of familial dedication. No. There are still preparations to be made for the operetta, so I suggest we depart to tend to those soon. A bell? Oh, that's the noon chime. Was it really that late already? Don't scare me, Elise. A bell? I'm like in awful bells. <laughs> I suppose I must turn away empty-handed for now. But I hope you're prepared, Schwarzer. When this day is over, we'll know without a doubt which of our classes is the greater. Oh, I already know. But I guess you're about to find out. Ooh. Looking forward to seeing your A-game. <laughs> I think you overestimate your chances. Victory is as good as mine. I hope you'll be dazzled by my spectacular stage presence, <laughs> Lady Elise. <laughs> and assuming you'll be attending the after party this evening, it would be my pleasure to share a dance with... Master Patrick, I suggest we hurry to the auditorium. Your classmates are waiting for you. If you'll excuse us, Master Reen, Lady Elise. <laughs> I was going to say Patrick grow on me, like... It's kind of funny. <laughs> With some rather amusing people. I would have expected a son of one of the four great houses to be a lot less approachable than that. Well, class and titles can only tell you so much. Getting to know Eusis and Angelica really drove that home. At the end of the day, even the most distinguished nobles are more than just their family lineage. Though I can't really say Patrick and I are on the best of terms. Well, if not a good friend, at least he seems to make for a spirited rival, judging by your exchange back there. It's so nice to see all these places you mention in your letters, too. I guess you really did make the right decision coming here after all. Yeah, I really did. I feel lucky to have been chosen for Class 7, too. They can be an odd bunch, but <laughs> I couldn't imagine my life without them now. Me neither. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me around. No problem. I wish we could spend longer together, but I know you're busy this afternoon. I'll be fine wandering around by myself for a few hours, so go on and start getting ready for your concert. Uh, I'm really sorry to have to leave you flying solo. And maybe a little nervous now. How many other well-heeled nobles are going to crawl out of the woodwork to escort you around the festival? <laughs> I appreciate your concern, but I'm not a child anymore, you know? Tee hee. The two of you really are the portrait of sibling affection. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait! The princess! I voice anywhere. Yeah. <gasps> Oliver! They Your forget Highness. all the princess! <laughs> and Prince Oliver, too. Good afternoon, Your Highness. Uh, Oliver, Oliver, for a few guitar. <laughs> Token position though it may be, I am the chairman of the board. It's only proper that I pay a visit. I would have liked to come yesterday as well, but I'm afraid I was tied up with a few official duties. Can you believe I had to beg him to take me along? But this is the festival! I couldn't miss it! In fact, I haven't seen you since we met at the summer festival. Right. It's a pleasure to see you again, your highness. Did you come as their escort, Captain? Basically, I was asked to step in on short notice to handle the security detail. I've been told Class 7 is performing a concert this afternoon. Can afternoon <laughs> just gone. Best of luck with that. Th thanks. Oh yes, when will the concert be starting, by the way? I'm asking that too, you know? Yeah, girl, I'm tell me. I'm afraid I didn't have the time to do any research beforehand. Oh, I have been here and I don't know when that's freaking... What time is it? Although I think another of the classes will be performing an operetta before that. Nobody wants an operetta. Still, you could have at least told me you'd be coming. This isn't the first time you've done this. <laughs> well, I was hoping to catch the two of you clutching each other in the torrid embrace of forbidden love. They are brothers. 
Okay, Rin is adopted. Look, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like your concert is shaping up to be a grand time, though. Would you mind terribly if I tore off my shirt and leapt on stage to join you all midway through? <laughs> oh, yes! Uh, we're mostly just amateurs when it comes to music, so I'm not sure that'd be such a good idea. You know, I don't see Major Vander around. Is he not with you today? Unfortunately not. You've probably heard a few rumblings about it already. But there's been another development in the Crossbell situation today. Oh, yeah. I thought so. The Imperial Army is considering military action, aren't they? Well, try not to worry yourself about that right now. If it helps put you at ease, I can't really see there being a war, regardless of what happens. The gulf in military power between our two nations is far too wide. It would be suicide for them to try to fight us. The Calvert Republic isn't standing idle either. So I imagine it'll end up a deadlock between superpowers. Under ordinary circumstances, I probably would have passed on coming today. But I thought that coming here with Alfin might actually alleviate tensions. We love you, Olive. Governor Regnitz, Rufus, and Chairman Arena are all here as well. I would presume they share the same opinion. But right now, you've got a concert to give. And I want you to focus all your energies on making it one to remember. Me too, Rin. Not for me or Alfin, or even for your schoolmates. Do it for yourself. Yes. Thank you, Your Highness. We'll give it all we have up there today. Why did he give Oli his guitar? What's all this chit chatting over here, you two? Care to let us in on your little gentleman's club? You, you, you girls were just there, like. And spill the secrets of our man to man bonding? Perish the thought. <laughs> anyway, Alfin and I would be happy to escort Elise around while you're indisposed. We'll bring her along to your concert, of course, so you needn't worry about a thing. Thank you, Your Highness. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'll be praying for your success. Thank you. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you shine up there on Me the stage. Too. I'm like nobody's moving until we see this concert. Unless something big happened. <laughs> Enough of big things happening. <laughs> Why not concert? Okay, I guess I should head over to the auditorium now. Yeah, let's, let's go. Take care of some last minute preparations. And I suppose I should catch Class 1's operetta, too. No. <laughs> Just concert. Just go concert and, and that's it. And I'm happy. Oh yeah, we, we're saving, but we're not stopping. What they put in safe? <laughs> Be like, there is a fight. <laughs> no, there is no fight. I don't know. <laughs> you know for fight. Continue. Okay, the operetta. Ah, we are seeing this. Okay. Is finishing or is it starting? <laughs> oh my god. It's not that I hate on them or anything, but I want to hear the concert. Ah, I think it's finishing. Yeah, it. Okay, good, great. We are the stars, not them. Bye. Oh my god, the concert! Ah! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that was incredible. I don't know. Well, I'm impressed. I had no idea how much work they put into this. <laughs> well, I have to confess, it's better than I'd anticipated. That's going to be one tough act to follow. Can we really measure up? Now I'm not so sure. Ah, oh, come on. Are people really going to be into our songs after seeing a performance like that? We got three songs. None of the three I know the names because nobody has say any names. The three songs, one song that everybody knows. It's what crossed Come on, it. don't start getting all wishy-washy on me now. If your rehearsals are anything to go by, you're gonna bring down the house. You really think so? She's right, we'll be fine. Our concert packs more than enough impact. Don't overthink this too much. You just gotta believe. Come on, you crow. <laughs> this is no time to start doubting ourselves. Of course not. What more we can we kill do than our best? Well, hopefully, all those practice sessions help us get it right when we're in the spotlight. As soon as Class 1 clears out their set in props, we need to start setting everything up. Roger. <laughs> I'm so excited I could explode! 
Pizza! We're coming in, okay? D that's to tell her. Toa? George? Here to give a little comfort to the weary soldiers fighting the good fight? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> Actually, we have a special guest who insisted on seeing you. Coming in. <laughs> oh. I nearly got my huh? god feelings. I mean, everybody now. Be. Uh, Angelica? Looks like I made it just in time for the main event. Kind of disappointed I missed the operetta, though. Heard class one was really on fire. <sighs> you made it! <laughs> just barely. But man, when did you get to be such a babe? <laughs> well, a good suit and tie are more to my taste. But this was part of the deal I made with my dad to let me come. He said I could visit the festival if I agreed to meet a few prospective candidates for an arranged marriage. So, here I am, dress and all. You better get a good look now. Who knows when I'll wear something like this again. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's your aim, you're certainly dressed for victory. Yeah, but I think it might draw out your charm a little too well. Most normal people would take one look at you and think you're completely out of their league. <laughs> <laughs> you do look lovely, though. <laughs> Thanks, but honestly, I've got nothing on the rest of you fair maidens. Ah! <laughs> uh, Angelica! Ah, nothing like the pure <laughs> scent of a woman. All I've had to look at since going back home is my dad's grumpy old face. I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> Good grief. Well, I suppose some things never change. <laughs> Look at me. Come on, Angie. All right, I've got my fix. Time to move on to my little ladies. <laughs> <sighs> so warm, so soft. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. No, oh my god. Angie, don't get too carried away now. You it do was... know they could file a sexual harassment claim, right? <laughs> it's good to have her back. Yeah. I'm so glad she managed to make it after all. Looks like the winds are favoring us today. Not La oh, poor Laura. I'm looking no. forward to your concert. From what I hear, you've got quite the show in store for all of us. Don't go getting yourselves too wound up. Just remember what you practice, put your all into it, and I'm sure the audience will be right there along with you. Yeah, it's your time to shine. Go on and have the time of your lives, guys. Of course we will. Good luck out there. Thank you. Yeah. Good. <laughs> tell me it's now, tell me it's now. Oh, oh, oh. Patience, everyone. Everybody, shut up. <laughs> Next, our Academy's very first Class 7 is proud to present a concert. Oh, the first song is the fighting song that I love, right? Ah! Wait, who gonna sing? Oh. Ah, come on. Okay. Oh my god! I, even even if I cannot tell oh my god Ah Oh my god they should have four them singing Tell me Japanese version got that singing voice I remember when I first heard this song I was like okay I'm in love in this even if I'm gonna die Oh my god Oh, that was one. Oh, <laughs> oh. 
Now that they were so, <laughs> um, God, uh, I. That brings us to the end of Class Seven's performance. No, there's one more song. Thank you all for coming out. Huh? In core. In core. In core. Uh, um. What? <laughs> Girl. Ladies and gents, <gasps> you've been a wonderful crowd. And we've heard your cheers loud and clear. So without further ado, I give you our third and final song. Oh, crowd caliente. <laughs> be like the end. My brain, I'm like, I'm glad this is not the last night, the last game with them. We got three more games. <laughs> uh. I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. I can't feel my feet. 
I guess that qualifies as a success then, right? Well, the crowd sure seemed pretty enthusiastic. <sighs> as if I had the mental energy to care about what the crowd thought. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's the difference between professional musicians and amateurs like us. I don't think you guys need to worry. We did just fine. Yeah. I'll say, the audience's reaction to our encore piece was even better than I'd hoped for. <laughs> I guess your plan paid off then. <sighs> A sorry sight you lot are. A oh, Patrick. What? Patrick? Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. This is what bothers me so much about this class. I know you're tired. We're all tired. But that doesn't excuse this level of indolence. <laughs> what concern is it of yours? <laughs> At least you could let us bask in the afterglow of our performance before the moment fades. <laughs> Still, I gotta hand it to you guys. You really pulled out all the stops for that operetta. It was really something. You could take that act to the theater and perform to a sold out crowd. <laughs> Great casting, too. Ferris fit her role to a T. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I really enjoyed it. You, you did? Aww. Well, I can't say I'm surprised, though. <laughs> Given the raw level of talent on display, who'd expect anything less than perfection? Wait, are you mocking me? No. If you're all languid and moping around, how do you think we feel? Show a little dignity at least. What? <laughs> what are you going on about? Aha! We did it, didn't we? Oh. Ugh. Pulling that third song out of nowhere is hardly what I'd call fair play. You even had me singing along. I, I, I can't even <laughs> consider our little wager still valid after that. Good, good day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? I'm not even sure. It didn't seem like he came here just to thumb his nose at us. Congrats, everyone! You did it! Andy. Huh? What brings you all here? Is something wrong? You guys are so worn down, you totally forgot, didn't you? Remember a certain little poll where festival attendees get to vote on their favorite attraction? Well, the results are in. Oh, now that you mention it... We were so busy, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Nobody so cares we, about that. We... <laughs> they just finished counting up all the votes from the students and the visitors. Good numbers all around, but classes 1 and 7 were the clear favorites. And we won, right? And this year's winner, with 1,512 votes... Oh, many people. ...is Class 7's concert! Mm. Oh. Huh. Congrats, guys. Well, at least that's over. The enthusiasm. Oh, come on, is that it? That's all the enthusiasm you can muster? Well, after seeing all the other attractions for myself, I feel almost as proud of the other classes as I do us. For what it's worth, my brother and Charles seem to have had a great time. Mishy Panic was an unsung gem. Now that it's over, it feels a little unsportsmanlike for us to be the only ones boasting about our achievements. Agreed. If anything, seeing everyone having a good time feels like a victory for the whole academy. No, we are the best. <laughs> yep. Every student should feel proud about these last two days. Anyway, I'm here to shake you dust potatoes out of your listless post-festival comas. Or have you forgotten that we still have the after party to enjoy? Oh. Oh yeah, there's that. I totally forgot. It's a tradition to close out the festival with a big party for the students, their friends, and their families. There's gonna be bonfires, right? And dancing? <laughs> well, don't just sit there. Everyone's waiting for you. All the bonfires are set up too, so just make your way over whenever you're ready. Okay, I think we can muster up the energy for one last event today. What do you say we head on over and enjoy the party? Right. Woo! Party time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
and we see the party. Showing party? Please? Come on? Charge? Oh. Uh, we're gonna let it. Till here. And tomorrow we see the party in case they're gonna show, I don't know. <laughs> uh, those were the tears of, of happiness, of remembering, of all the characters, all the bonding we have made with each character. I'm so glad that we took into this game and then entered this story. Yeah. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. And we still got more things to see here. So, see you in the next one. If you guys want, I don't know.